you know what? It's about time I get this out. Because, like, I think people should see this right now. Or let people know about this. Yes, this is going to go a little political in some ways. But also with other things, too. Okay? So, please, don't be offended. Okay? These past couple of weeks... Especially with the passing of my grandmother, it's been really hard for us. Me, personally, also. And, like, I don't know why, you know, it's just, it's just too much going on. I know, this is, seems like an awkward way to start up a video on here, but... But, I think I need to get this off and get this out. To a whole wide audience. Okay. I learned something from these past couple weeks. You know, you know that big riot and protest and counter protest war that happened in Charlottesville last week or two weeks ago, I think, you know, there was a bunch of <sighs> fuck. Okay, sorry about that little awkward pause a moment there and me dropping the F-bomb, okay? I just want to say something. All the chaos that's been going on in the world recently, and I'm looking at the news and these articles and stuff. Okay, first you have the hurricane that hit, like, Texas, you know? And I don't even know what to say. How am I gonna how am I gonna talk about this in front of you guys? <laughs> this is emotional, you know. I mean I mean seriously, you know. This doesn't only go personally with me though, but it also goes with the whole rest of the community out there, the whole world. Especially with the US lately today. Lately we've been seeing a surge in violence. And don't call me a freaking liberal, okay? Cause like Cause like, I don't really think. You know, what the fuck am I saying? Just how am I gonna say this? It's been hell, death, and terror happening in this world lately. You can recall the white nationalist rally that took place a couple weeks ago in Charlottesville that ended up resulting in three deaths. One involving a car. One involved a counter protest, you know, getting ran over by a freaking Nazi. Yes, an actual Nazi. A neo-Nazi in a car. Dead. As well as 19 other injured. You know? Like, why the fuck do people assume this? You know? Listen. Listen. I got a message for all you white nationalists out there. Fuck you. You know? You're not the superior race. You're not higher above the law i don't care what the fuck that donald trump says and gives you gives you props for that though because you have no right in causing hell death and terror and killing innocent people who just want to be equal we're all equal okay seriously we're all freaking equal you know it doesn't matter if you're gay straight christian muslim jewish whatever we're all meant to be equal. And that's actually a powerful message. You know? Who the fuck cares about what these neo-Nazis and clan members say, okay? It's like, I don't want that to happen, you know? It just angers me and just upsets me. Just to think about this stuff. And it's like, every time I open up my web browser on here, I always see stuff on Freaking white nationalists and stuff, and polluting news and stuff, you know? Fuck these white nationalists. They have no intelligence whatsoever, okay? Seriously, they don't. They're freaking savages. And not in a good way either, okay? I mean, like, they're literally, you know? A freaking Second World War veterans. Second World War veterans denounce these white nationalists and alt-right and far-right groups, hate groups, in this nation, you know? Second World War veterans, you know, some that are like 90 or 100 years old, are 
hating this shit, you know? I bet you if Franklin Delano Roosevelt was living today and he saw this going on, he wouldn't like us, okay? Seriously. Like, seriously. Why? And with this pardon with this sheriff in Arizona, whatever it is, Already pardon a paro. You know? He has no right. I'm like freaking knock out people just because their race or gender. Like why the fuck do Like what the fuck are we supposed to do? You know? GT rally in 20. Why am I looking at this? I don't know what to say. It's just... What the hell has this great country of ours came to recently? Just recently, these past couple weeks. I mean, seriously. If you're gonna dislike this video, I'm gonna disable, you know, fuck you then. Okay? It's like, first off, this only doesn't apply to Trump supporters or any the matter. But, lately... There's been just a widespread factor of hatred in this nation, in the United States lately. These, some of these Trump supporters are at fault. <laughs> I'm really congested. You know, it's just sad just to think about this. I don't even know what to say. Innocent people are getting killed because of these, you know? I could easily probably argue and say that Donald Trump is reaching the point of being considered a dictator. Why the fuck am I talking about this? Guys. I know, I kind of want a little over dramatic in the last segment part of this video I'm sorry about that it's just I don't even know what to say I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this video to YouTube or Facebook at least cuz like like seriously it's just all the stuff that's been happening lately you know I wouldn't be surprised that the end of times is coming soon you know I don't want it to be that way. You know, I don't want, I'm not trying to be super, really, I'm not trying to be religious right here, though, but think of it. Think of it. You know all the crazy shit that's been going on lately? First, you have the white nationalist rally that's happening throughout this nation, especially in Charlottesville, that ended up resulting in three deaths, one a civilian, and two police officers as well as 19 others being injured. Then, you got Hurricane Harvey hitting the Gulf Coast of Texas. Oh, God help those people. You know? And, and then you got freaking Trump as president. I'm gonna think. Don't call me crazy, okay? I know this sounds a bit crazy, but I'm gonna think maybe this is the end of the world. Maybe some of these people were right. But, is there any way we could prevent it from happening? I mean, seriously, we should just get together and just live equal lives, you know? Care for each other, you know? It's like the right Christian way, because I was born and raised a Christian. Roman Catholic, to be exact. And we should, read, we should care about people, no matter of their race, sex, or religion, okay? And that's 
truth in that. But just lately, it's just... I don't know what the hell caused this widespread hatred groups spreading across the nation, especially white nationalists, not only including neo-Nazis, but Confederates, these neo-Confederates, and also white supremacists, or, and also the KKK, or Ku Klux Klan, okay? I think Trump might have had a fault in it too, you know, part of it too, you know. Especially when, you know, Trump got elected president, it totally escalated up, way up. I mean, this has been going on for a long time, though, even before Trump became president, okay? We're talking like years, okay? It's been going on for a long time, okay? It isn't all Donald Trump's fault. Although it kind of seems like it's his fault that it began to escalate out of control lately. You know, and these hate groups and white supremacists or nationalists are becoming are going more becoming more openly, you know, about it because they think they can speak freedom of speech in their opinion, you know. Okay, yeah, it's one thing if you speak your freedom of speech, but it's another thing when you try to kill people, okay? Because that is just and killing people is just totally wrong on all levels. Period. Immoral. Period. Any religion. Period. You know, this lady, this thirty-two-year-old lady was helping out with these peaceful counter-protests in Charlottesville a couple weeks ago. I'm trying to remember her name, though, but... Uh, was Heather something? I don't know. <laughs> she stood up against this hatred that's been going on lately. I haven't seen this much hatred or right, race riots happening this much ever since the 1960s or 70s, even though I wasn't born at that time, but you still, I mean, even, even so, in the early 90s, though, you had a little bit of this stuff going on, though, you know, you know, heck, that's why you have all these reality gangster rap groups, you know, and songs that came out at the time, you know, with NWA, Public Enemy, you know, it makes all sense, right, you know, they didn't treat us equally, you know, and lately, I don't even know what to say. This is just sad. This is just sad. Seriously, it is sad. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this video to YouTube or Facebook, okay? Because, like, you know, I, I I, mean, I gotta do it some way to spread the message out, okay? It's like, I don't know what these people assume, you know, lately, you know? Oh, they claim that everything's going to be fine and peachy and stuff, you know, and everything's fine and dandy when the truth is, and the reality is, it ain't, okay? And just, I saw this to God, you know, I think Donald Trump is the Antichrist. I hate to say that, though. I swear I'm beginning to think he is, because all the signs kind of point to it. Or, or the evil one, as Muslims call him, Okay? Seriously, I, mean, I don't want to be, I don't, I'm not trying to sound religious here, though, but, you know, you should probably keep your eye out for this stuff, okay? Watch your signs, okay? Because, like, there's been some sketchy-ass shit and questionable shit that's been going on in this nation lately, you know? I'm not really the one to talk too much about religion, though, okay? Yeah, anyway, let me try to keep this as secular and as possible, you know? What do you think of it? Donald Trump. President of the United States. Most, if not half of his supporters, were white nationalists. You know? That got him into office. Matter of fact, he didn't probably even deserve to be president, though, you know? You know? Even though I wasn't a big fan of Hillary, Hillary Clinton either, okay? I wasn't a big fan of Hillary Clinton either, but we might as well have had her than this... Don guy... Just, you know? Oh, yeah, and you also heard... I don't want to mean to get a little political here, though, okay? Please don't be offended, but, but, but also lately. He's now threatening to shut down the government. Not because of financial problems or stuff, you know, for his small reasons, but just because he wants his wall to be built. His beautiful, gorgeous, luxurious, wonderful wall on the Mexican-American border. He wants it to be forced to be built. And he'll even force to shut down the government for it in order to, to have it. What the fuck? 
guys. I ain't paying that money. And sure hell no, the Mexicans ain't going to pay for it either. Okay? Fuck that. You also notice something? There's been a lot of resigns in the White House lately, you know? You know? And... You want... You know what, maybe I should stop with that, though. But, hey, as far all... Just... I want to let you know, guys know. Okay, okay, let's not get political here from now on, okay? Let's not go there, okay? Just... I should probably go more to a personal level right, level right now, though. Because, like, you're probably all sick of me posting political... Incorrect stuff on the internet lately, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm sorry. I, I know what you mean, you know? Okay, I'm sorry about that, you know? It's just... Let me just go more personal. I think it's about time I go personally. Okay. I shouldn't let the outside world sucker me in and drown me in their freaking swamp or suck them into their great big black hole in the void of their asses. Okay, I shouldn't let that happen, okay? Just, Nathan, just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it anymore. Let it go. All right, you know, you know, let me change this up a bit. You know, I'm going to have to go to a more personal level level right now. Give me a moment. A week or two ago, my grandmother passed away. Grandma Peggy, you know, Grandma Simmer. The one that I always kind of made fun of and stuff like that, though, you know. I just... I feel bad. You know, it's just... My grandmother just died. Like, last week. And it's just... It's just been really a hard time for me lately, you know? Put the political stuff put aside. Let's talk about this, you know? Because this is, like, important here, you know? It's just... I might, You might have seen my post on Facebook about this incident, and... I feel bad, you know? It's just... I was just, I don't know what to say. It's just, I love her. I seriously do, you know? I love her, you know? The thing was, I don't want to remember her, that lifeless corpse of body that was laying on the bed in Sunnyview. Recently, you know, I want to know her when she was the live active lady, Peggy, you know? It was kind of tarred and tough, you know, hard, you know, I had like the grip of death and stuff like that, you know, oh my god, her grips were like steel, okay, they hurt, okay, <laughs> they did hurt, you know, it's just, I'm gonna miss her, god bless her, at least now her and her husband are living to, are once again back together in the afterlife, even physically in the physical world, because her ashes, her yearns right above my grandfather's crypt spiritually they're together i just feel bad i mean i dealt with something similar like this before back in 2004 with my my only grandfather i knew of though that actually i actually see in person lyle davis passed away but this time i just i don't know i just i don't really bother going to all the funerals and stuff I mean, I did get to say my last respects and goodbyes to her, and... I just... I'm gonna miss her, you know? I'm gonna miss her every night, you know? Every time, you know, when calls up the phone here, Are you there, Maureen? <laughs> oh, man, it just... Last message on the answering machine, the last words I ever heard from her was... You there, Marine? <laughs> yes, that were the last words I heard from her, you know, on the answering machine. Are you there, Marine? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm par paraphrasing it or quoting, paraquoting it, I don't know. It's something like that, though, you know? Or you... You know, I just remember... There was this video I did back in 2008, though, that was, like, recording of... 
how my grandmother and my uncle always acted together. I didn't mean for it to go too far, though, you know, like, you know, literally actually put my uh, uncle in a mental ward, okay? Because, like, that just... So now I think of it, though, it was probably good times, you know? I think I'll just look at that video just to remember Grandma, you know? Especially in one part that she she threw the boot at my uncle. <laughs> it was funny, though, you know? I mean, I might post the video up, you know, in respect and in memory of her, though, but I'm not going to put in the parts that were controversial, though, you know? I'm just... I'm, I'm going to edit it in some way that's actually respectful and stuff, though, okay? Because, like... I was kind of being disrespectful when I did that video, especially at the scene with my uncle flipping the bird. I'm going to cut that out, though. Don't worry. Even though it was kind of funny at first, though, when I get it, because I had all these sound effects and stuff, though. But now I think of it, it ain't funny. But I think more reason of that Meet the Simmers video is just to be in memory of her, you know, just to remember, because that was, like, one of the last... One of my only videos I actually have recorded of her when she was still alive. Ever. You know, and this was back like a good 10 years ago when I did it when I was like 15. Like nearly 10 years, I should say. I think it was like February of 08. So yeah, nearly 10 years ago. <sighs> I believe it's been that long. And it's funny though, because like watching a video, you can actually see our... How our actual house used to look like originally. <laughs> it, it's it's definitely a hoot. It was a lot more messier. Then again, it kind of is mess messy today, though, you know. But still, kind of like a little walk down memory lane and stuff like that, though. I don't know. I'm, I'm still debating if I should post that video on the internet, but edit it in some way that's respectful and stuff, you know. You know, or not. I should probably not bother posting it, though. But at least, well, we'll just say this. I'll just... Cut out the parts that were offensive, though, okay? You know, the controversial parts, you know, like the stuff that ended up causing my uncle to go berserk, okay? I don't know. Do you guys really think I should upload that video? I just want your guys' opinion. You think I really should upload that video in memory of my grandmother? No, I just want your opinion. Because, like, it's like one of the only known videos I have of my grandmother when she was still alive. I don't really have it on this computer up here, though. It's on my other one over there, I believe, though. My Windows Vista one, the one I had before this one. I think it still works, though. I mean, I'm probably going to have to transfer the video, but I'm going to have to, like, edit it in some way that's, like, respectful in nature, okay? Because, like, I don't want to cause any controversy and stuff, though, you know? If I do upload it. <sighs> I'm going to do a tribute video. No matter what, I'm going to do a tribute video video of my grandmother Peggy, or Margaret Elaine Simmer. That's her actual name, a.k.a. Peggy, or Peg. That's what they used to call her, Peggy. That was her nickname. That's what I used to call it, you know? I'm going to miss her. I just... You know, it's just... It's, an, it's inevitable, you know? Sooner or later, you're gonna have to face a family member of yours passing, of yours passing away. Like what I just did recently. I don't want to be remember her as a lifeless corpse on the bed in the nursing home. Okay, I just want to remember her as that scrawny, hard, tough, salty yet sweet granny. You know, sort of like Granny from the Beverly Hillbillies. It was like that kind of deal, though. She was kind of like that, though, but a little more civilized, I guess you could say. And now my uncle's in a group home in Newcastle. You know, it's just, I, I know, I, I should really, this is, this is all personal, what I'm talking about right now, though, you know? I could care less about that political incorrectness shit that's been going on recently, like I said earlier. But I think most part of this video, I just want to... Talk about my life in general. Yes. Yes. I miss Grandma Simmer. I'm going to miss her. And so far, the only grandmother I have left that's actually, that who's actually still alive is the one up in Erie, Grandma Davis, or Joanna Davis, who lives up in Erie. I just wonder how long is it going to be before she passes away, too? 
I would really be heartbroken if she passes away. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm also heartbroken that Grandma Simmer passed away too, though, okay? And I'm being honest right now, it's just, just, all the stuff that's been going on, you know? See how my room's like, all this stress and stuff, I can't even clean up this room, you know? I know, I'm kind of giving it away, you know? It's blatantly obvious right in the background, you know? It's all messed. It's in shambles, okay? It's just, I've been going through a really hard time lately, you know? It's just been stressful on me. I'm just hoping I can get into college by fall, if not winter of this year, or the winter semester, or trimester. I don't know what it's called. You know what I mean? I just, just please. I have like a, I have a picture of her grave marker before she gets a permanent headstone or tombstone of her picture on it. I might post a, I might show a picture of her in this video, like a little graphic in the picture, in the video on this, though. Right there. There she is. Can't really make it out well, though, but that's a, that's her temporary grave marker. Margaret Elaine Simmer, April 5th, 1935 to August 19th, 2017. Something feels different right now. I'm gonna miss you, Grandma. I seriously am. I'm really gonna miss her. You know, it's just... I mean, sooner or later, we're all gonna die, you know? And we have to face, you know, music. Whether if we end up in heaven or what, what other place, you know? Hopefully not hell, okay? <laughs> it's like, you know, I don't wanna go there, you know? Even though I think we're already living in hell already. You know, I just want this to just be a powerful message. Just for you guys. But, thank you for the support that you have. You know, my closest friends. Julian, thank you so much. And, I don't know if I'll ever be uploading. I don't know. For a while, I'm probably not going to be uploading videos to my channel, though. I might upload one soon, though. But lately, I've been trying to deal with this other stuff. You know, such as the passing way of my grandmother. Grandma Simmer. But, anyway. I really appreciate you guys. I wish I could say something else. Oh, yeah. Also, about regarding that Urbex video that went wrong. I know. I know what I did there was totally wrong. Okay? Because, like, I need to address this right now, though. You know? Because, like, it's just... I don't know where this is going to apply on my channel, though. You know? I don't even think it's a vlog or just a news story. You know? It's just... I mean, this is probably going to be the longest video I ever posted to my channel. You know? I mean, it's just... I don't know how I'm going to produce this, though, but it's going on 20 minutes already. It's past 20 minutes. 20... You know, I should just stop the video here, okay? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll get back. You know what? I'll just talk about the Urbex video in another video, okay? Till then, thank you so much, and I hope to see you guys soon, and... Rest in peace, Grandma Simmer, Margaret E. Simmer, 1935 to 2017. Thank you so much. God bless.